Hello everyone and welcome to today's yoga adventures. We're off to the ocean to see some fantastic sea creatures and we really hope that you'll join in with us at home. If you haven't done yoga before, it might be a good idea just to watch us first so you know what we're doing and then you can do it afterwards. And do make sure that a grown-up knows that you're doing yoga just so that you feel safe if anything happens. And if by any chance anything hurts, then stop for a moment. But otherwise, we hope you have as much fun as we do and enjoy our adventure. So we're going to start the class with a little warm-up. So everybody's going to sit with their legs crossed, sitting up, and we're going to make ourselves sit extra tall by getting something to tie onto the top of our head. Tying onto the top of our head. Here we are, we're going to tie up here. And we're going to tie a big piece of string that we're going to throw right up. One, two, three, whew, over a cloud. And then we're going to pull, and we're going to pull, and we're going to pull. And it's going to make us go all tall and strong. So now that we're sitting up really nice and tall, let's just make our mind think about our breathing. Because in order to do yoga properly, we have to breathe. So we're going to close our eyes, sit up really tall, and we're going to breathe in through our nose and out through our nose. In through our nose and out through our nose. Now that we've got that, let's see if we can breathe in and count to four. Breathe in, one, two, three, four, and breathe out, one, two, three, four. One more time, breathe in, one, two, three, four, and breathe out, two, three, Four. Now, we have to remember to keep breathing all the way through, otherwise we won't be able to hold our postures that we have to do, and we might sink to the bottom of the ocean. That would be awful. So we're sitting cross-legged, and we're going to warm ourselves up. So let's take one hand here and turn and look that way. Let's look that way over our shoulder and come back. Breathe in and breathe out and look that way over our shoulder. And then we're going to sit up and stretch up and fold forwards. Good. Folding forwards. Breathe in and come up, sitting with our legs crossed again. We're going to change so that the other foot is on top so we work our hips this bit properly. So, sitting up tall, hand onto your leg, breathe in. Sweep that arm round behind you and look over your shoulder. Beautiful. Are you doing it as well as us? And breathe in. And breathe out and come round the other way. Sitting up tall. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in and stretch up. Smile. Breathe out and fold forwards. Good. Breathe in and come up. Now this is a nice stretch for our back and for our legs. So you're going to come onto your hands and your knees. And this is called cat pose. Now cats think that they're really cool. So he's going to look like a really smug cat here. Smiling and just chilling out. And then he thinks, uh oh, there comes Buster the dog. So he becomes a scaredy cat. <laughs> and he looks up to see if Buster's gone. And I'm a cool cat again. And then he goes, scaredy cat. Because <laughs> here comes Buster. Woof, woof. Lift your bottom up. Push your chest back towards your legs and woof 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 well done and come down that's fantastic now we're going to sit between our heels like that that's very nice so we just make our hips here work a different way and then we take our fingers can you all do that you bring your fingers together like that breathe in and breathe out and take your arms away. Now, we don't want to go all floppity again. 
So pull your shoulders back, make your neck long, breathe in and breathe out and stretch up. Excellent. That's really nice. I wonder if you're doing it like we are. That's fantastic. I think we're just about ready to set off on our adventure. <gasps> it's raining. It started to rain and it's raining on our heads and it's raining on our cheeks and we can't go off to the beach if it's raining and it's now raining really hard on our legs. Oh no, that's such a shame. But you know what? We're so clever, we've got a special magic spell. Let's take our hands like this and we're gonna take a big breath in and we're gonna blow the rain away. Did you feel that? And again, breathe in. I think it's gone. Because I can hear the baby birds singing. And they're saying, tweet, 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 tweet. It stopped raining. Tweet, tweet. And they're saying, the great thing is, all the worms have come up and we can gobble them up. Delicious. But the most exciting thing for us is there's a magic bird out there on our windowsill. <gasps> exciting! Let's open the window, come onto your feet like this, get hold of the window because it's a very big window and we're going to go... <gasps> and there's the magic bird. So let's take our arms out to the side and we're going to lean forward and we're going to go breathe in and breathe out and take your arms up breathe in and breathe out and breathe in because we're soaring through the clouds now and breathe out and breathe in and breathe out wonderful now unfold slowly up because there are the beautiful palm trees. Now, if you haven't been a palm tree before, sometimes it's a little bit difficult. So you can just bring your foot in front of the other one like that and start like that. But if you're a little bit bigger and you want to try, you bring this foot up here and then you stretch up your branches. And we sway in the wind. But this is quite a difficult position, so we might just try it on the other leg because it's often easier when we do it again so come out change make this strong leg very strong and bring your foot up and balance and smile because smile helps a balance and swaying in the wind fantastic okay follow me everyone because we've got to go through the very deep sand and we're going to go one follow two Three, four through the deep sand. Oh, it's very squelchy indeed. Oh, oh, fantastic. And let's come back to our positions because over there, let's just have a quick look. There is the coolest surfer in the world. Okay, so stand up because he has one leg forward like that, one leg pointing forward and the other leg back. And he says, hey, dudes, hey, dudes, he says, you better go and speak to those penguins over there. He says, watch me first. So one, two, three, because I can jump the other way. <sighs> Shall I do that again? One, two, three, jump the other way. Can you do that as well as we can? And he says, dudes, go and check out those penguins. Should we go and have a look? Follow me. So we go walking like penguins. We hop from one foot to another and we wiggle our bodies and we wiggle and we wiggle and we wiggle. Fantastic. Well done. And we wiggle and we wiggle. Now the penguins have said that we must go and see Mr. Cranky the crab. wonder who he is. Mr. Cranky is called Mr. Cranky because he gets everything wrong. So you put your hands under your shoulders and your feet on the floor and you breathe in and you breathe out and you lift your hips. Now Mr Cranky says 
follow me, everyone. It's, it's this way. But he can't go forwards. He can only go sideways. So he goes, it's this way. <sighs> follow me quickly, because there's something terribly wrong. And he says, <sighs> got it all wrong. It's, <sighs> it's, it's this way. So, it's jolly tiring being a crab, I must say. He says, there's a very, 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 very sad mermaid. And she's called Missy. <laughs> And she's crying and crying. <laughs> and she sees us coming and, and she turns the other way. <laughs> and we say, Nizzy, what's wrong? And she said, I just got to go to the underwater party, but with these silly legs, I can't dance. Maybe we can help her. Let's see what we can do. I think we might talk to Mr. Wally, the whale. Because whales are really big. He'll know the ocean. He'll show us where to go. So the whale, we come onto our backs. We bring our heels in towards us. And whales do big blowouts through their tummies here. So we breathe in. And we breathe out. And come down, breathe in. And breathe out. <laughs> breathe in. And breathe out. Keep wailing, children. But Wally the whale says that actually the pearl that we need, which will help the mermaid with a special spell, is down a huge tunnel, really, really deep down. And he's just too big to go that far. So let's try Matsy the fish. So swing round. Put your legs out and put both hands, one under your bottom and the other under your bottom. And then we're going to breathe in and we're going to breathe out and we're going to go, oh, 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 oh. Um. Now, the problem with these silly fish is they forget everything. So we say, can you help us? And they say, well, we'd love to, but we can't remember which way we have to go. Try asking the dolphins. That's a good idea. Let's go and ask Dolly the dolphin. Mm -hmm. Dolly the dolphin. She's the one showing off over there. So we come onto our knees. Onto our knees. Let's sit. Onto our knees. And we bring our fingers together like that. Mm -hmm. And we breathe in. And we go. <sighs> and we breathe in. And we go. <sighs> and we breathe in. And we go. <sighs> Now, sadly, Dolly is really an awful show-off. And Dolly doesn't even know where to begin to find our pink pearl down in the oyster bed. So she says that there is a possibility that we could talk to Brutus the shark. A shark? A shark might eat us for his lunch. That would, be, that would be terrible. So let's try being a shark. We come onto our tummies like this. We bring our hands behind us. And actually, Brutus is quite a nice guy. He just rolls along the ocean floor. And he says, kids, I'm not going to eat you today. But I will tell you that if you dive down there, you'll find the tunnel that will lead you to the oyster bed. Wicked! Wicked! So, let's stand up. And we'll take a great big stretch up, breathe in, and we'll dive down to the ocean floor. Wow! And we're going to follow our dive down into a tunnel. Now, if you haven't got somebody to do this with at home, you can just do Buster the Dog Pose again. So we start our tunnel here, and Aishi's going to swim all the way through. Aishi, you come round here. Come round here, and we're all going to make tunnel sort of noises. Whoosh. Here she goes, she's swimming down. Whoosh. 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 Hooray, she's there. Well done, everyone. Did you swim through your tunnel like that? Now, the other side of the tunnel is Talbot. Now, we have to take our feet wide apart to be Talbot. Legs come wide apart. That's it. And Talbot's a really grumpy old turtle. You take your arm up and you take it back 
underneath. It's quite difficult. I bet if you got everyone at home to do this, they'd never be able to stand up. Then you take the other arm and you put it under. And Talbot's just groaning along. Groaning along. And we say, Talbot, do you think you can show us the way to the oyster bed? Well, I suppose so, he says. It's kind of over that way. That means we may be able to find the pink pearl. Let me go and see whether it's in the oyster shells. So let's have a little look. I better be a bit careful because they're not very friendly. They keep their front doors very tightly shut. Let's have a look. No oh, no, that wasn't very friendly at all. Maybe this oyster will be more friendly. Go and away. It... Oh, no! Is my pink pearl in, in this oyster? Shoot flight, don't bother me. Oh, dear. Uh, perhaps I'll try over here. Go away. Oh, no! What about in here? Go away, I don't have anything in here. Oh! Let's just hope that this little shell might lift up and <gasps> it is it's here everyone we've got it hooray hooray the mermaid you're gonna be so pleased <gasps> let's now swim back to the surface so we sit down on our heels and we stretch up and we breathe in and we stretch up and breathe in and stretch up we better see where Mizzy is so we can give her her pearl. She's going to be so excited. And she's still sitting on her rock and crying. <laughs> <laughs> and she turns the other way because she's seen us. <laughs> and we say, Mizzy, Mizzy, guess what? We've got your pearl. And she says, Thank you, thank you, everyone, thank you. And she throws her arms over and she says, thank you so, so much. Gosh, we'd better get home, it's getting dark. So get into your rowing boats, rock onto your bony bottomy bits, sit up tall, and we take hold of our oar, and we take it all the way down our leg and all the way back up. Everybody ready? Heave! <gasps> Heave! Heave! Oh, ring, ring! Oh, bother! Hello? Yep, we're on our way. Yep, on our way back home soon. Now we've gone all in a circle. Better take the other oar. Ready? Heave! 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 Oh, ring, ring! Oh, bother! Yeah, OK. We'll tell you about the adventure when we get back, OK? Oh, really? Anyway, we're back at the beach now, and the train's leaving in just a second, so I'll give you all a ticket. A ticket for you, and a ticket for you, and a ticket for you, and a ticket for you at home, and a ticket for you, and a ticket for you, and a ticket for you. Everybody ready? Doot, doot! And off we go. Shh! Are you following? <laughs> and we've arrived back at home, right on the doorstep. How handy is that? Let's open the door. Because that means everyone's gone to bed. Climb up the stairs. Don't make any noise. And we'll get into our bed. Get into our bed. No talking. Oh, and pull it back over you. How lovely is that? So lie very, very still now. And let your body completely relax in your snugly warm bed. Make sure your feet are still and your legs. And your body feels heavy on the floor and your hands and your arms and your shoulders. And relax all around your throat. And make sure the back of your neck feels nice and long. Perhaps have a big oh, yawn and relax your face. And let your eyebrows be apart. 
And just let's think about where we've been as you lie so, so still. Think about all the colors that you've seen, all those beautiful fish, seahorses, octopus, jellyfish, and beautiful colors. What a special adventure. And the great thing was that we found that pearl for Mizzy. She's going to be so happy at that underwater party. So close your eyes and be very still. Just picture where you've been. And now you're going to smile to yourself without moving your lips and see if you can hold on to the feeling of that smile while happy Mizzy Mermaid comes to wake you up. And she's going to give you a little snuggle. And if a grown-up at home can do this for you, that's nice too. And she says, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. And she's giving you a special kiss. And a special snuggle. And a special huggle. And you're going to come up and sit with your legs crossed and your eyes closed and Mizzy's going to lie there too. And we're going to sit up tall and it's nice after yoga to finish with a, an om. An om makes you feel all lovely inside. It makes a lovely sound. So close your eyes and sit up tall and we'll do three together. Thank you, everyone.